Hi there and welcome to my channel. My name is Parisa and in this video I want to show you uh, how to take online courses for free if you are an active student or an employee from a company which has a, a very good welfare or which is very generous about employees needs and personal development okay so what i'm talking is that there's an online platform called linkedin learning uh, which is usually promoted by uh, a lot of colleges and universities so many universities have got um are like a page which talks about LinkedIn learning and how they can provide their students uh, a free access to the platform. For instance, if you go to this, you can see that there's like even Harvard, they, uh, they've got LinkedIn learning. So basically this page uh, wants to tell our Harvard students that if they are an active member, student or staff, they can use uh, this resource uh, to take to learn new skills. Okay, but uh, so uh, so basically, you well they usually tell you what to do so just follow their instructions or you can go to your um go to the home page so i want to show you this first let's go to this this is the home page of linkedin learning i'll just call it link uh, uh, learning Okay, then we're gonna sign in here. There is an email box. So you can either use your personal email or your organization email. And if you go with the first one, uh, you would just land on your personal account. Um, as far as I know, there's no free courses. Um, you have to pay, you have to buy a subscription in order to get uh, access to those uh, video courses. So we're, we're, we're not going to go with the with option number one. We're going to go with the second one, which is using your organization email. So in this case, I'm going to use Harvard as uh, the example. Uh, because uh, I'm an active student, I'm, uh, like I'm enrolled in uh, with a Harvard graduate school. Um, yeah, but anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm actually doing one of their online uh, programs. And so I have uh, access to their some of their resources. And so I'm going to use it. Uh, in this case because I don't have like a company email okay let's go you're not gonna input your Harvard email or something okay your organization email just use their domain like this without you know like your name at no just the domain and then continue and then they will ask you if you want to continue to the uh, the college or the university's site. Learning will uh, redirect you to like a gateway page of your organization or or university or college. Um, so they want to give you. Uh, a heads up 
Okay, so we're, we're going to go and continue. Uh, then you will come to this page. And this is uh, a, a site of Harvard, as you can see in the URL something.harvard.edu which means this is not a learning page okay what this is is yeah both of them know that you want to uh, go uh, go to your enterprise or organization or uh, account and they want to confirm that our uh, it's really you, but not like a hacker or an automated program which tries to access your account. So you will have to uh, input your credential, your ID, and your password, and then and then sign in click here okay because I have set uh, 2FA so I have to confirm this on my phone let me confirm it okay after I've confirmed it on my phone then I can uh, gain access to it now uh, okay I've landed on the home page of my uh, profile basically it's the in uh, the organization or the enterprise profile but not your personal one because you you can see that there is no picture of you if you have one and you know it uh, and when you click me you can see that it's the university's name but it's not you is not your name your personal name and here you can also see the logo of your organization which means you're not in your personal account and how can you connect it to your personal account just click me go to settings and scroll down to the bottom and you will see connect to uh, connect my account then type in your personal account then click continue okay and then if you see this just click uh, accept Now, when you scroll down to the same page, you will see this connect my account, which means you are, you have connected your personal account with your organization account. And you can see the logo is changed to your own photo or picture here. So now you know that you are using your personal account or uh, under well actually what does what, what it means is that whether you next time when you come back to learning you can input your personal email or organization email and you will be able to take courses for free um, but if you have disconnected the two accounts then it will go back to what it was before if it does it means that you can if you input if you if you if you are uh, use your personal email to um, 
access learning it will go back to the default uh, if you have bought a subscription then you have access to your to those courses if you haven't then um, you can take those courses and if you're still uh, an active member of your organization you can always use your organization email to log in to learning and take courses but your history but your learning history will be here will be will be whatever uh, that you uh, whatever courses that you've taken while you are using your uh, enterprise uh, license so basically now here my learning history uh, is based on what I've taken uh, in my personal uh, account so that's it for today I hope it wasn't too bad because uh, I'm not like a um, I'm an uh, I'm not a native English speaker and so I've got a lot of uh, 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 there because like I'm trying to uh, think about what I want to say while speaking in a in my second language sorry is not good but um, I hope uh, I'll be able to do uh, a better job next time and use less speech filters uh, hopefully yeah so um anyway um that's for that is for today I'll see you in the next one thanks for watching and bye